Hey everyone, I wanted to give my thoughts about everything now that time has passed and I kind of stepped away for a bit to think about everything that happened over the last two months. I'm talking of course about the situation that went down with Bosch. So to those who aren't aware, the situation that happened in February was Bosch accidentally leaked a folder full of images that he should not have had on his computer and it created a living hell for him, for me, for anyone in his general proximity. I'm putting this video out to just give my thoughts. There's no script. I'm just talking from the heart here about how I feel about Vosh and how I feel about everything now that all of this is played out. A lot of people said that I needlessly inserted myself into all of that drama that happened and I want to talk about that because I partially agree, but there's also a different side of this that people probably weren't aware of. I saw all of this playing out. I wasn't planning on weighing in. None of this was my problem. But then my friend Tipster decided to call out Ethan Klein on Twitter for how he covered the entire situation that happened with Bosch. And then when Ethan Klein responded, I was like, okay, I have two friends now who are getting put on blast by a really large content creator, I decided that I was going to, I was going to get into the mud because I care about my friends. I don't want to see my friends getting attacked. And that was a huge mistake. Hindsight is 2020. If I could go back and just let everything play out without getting involved, obviously I would have. And I don't want to beat myself up that much because I think that my instinct to want to protect my friends when I see them getting attacked is a good one. Like it shows that I really care about people. Caring about people People and wanting to protect people, sometimes that's not always the greatest idea. And this entire situation has kind of made me reevaluate how I even feel about Vosh in the first place. To be completely honest, I don't really like him as much as I used to. I actually feel hurt and let down by him. The mistake that Vosh made, it was such an avoidable mistake. This is me being as charitable as possible, believing him when he said that he downloaded Lolly by mistake. Even if that was 100% true, he could have avoided this. He didn't need to download porn on his work computer. That's just bizarre. And he put so many people, people whose livelihoods actually depend on him, in the crosshairs because of how reckless he is. And this entire situation just really soured me to even wanting to be part of his community, to be quite honest. Because if he cared as much as he claimed, he would have taken more precaution with his actions to not have a situation like this blow up. And for people who were his friends and for people who wanted to defend him through this, they just got mercilessly dragged. Well, he stayed silent about the whole thing. And now he's moving on? and people are still giving me hate, not for my own actions, but for his. They're redirecting the hate onto me. Well, he's in his fortress and hasn't even tweeted on his Twitter since like February 18th. All of the lies and misinformation about me that started on Kiwi Farms that culminated in the entirety of the events of 2022 got brought back to life as a result of this situation because I wanted to defend my friend. I don't think if the roles were reversed, he would do the same for me, to be honest. I reached out to him because I wanted to talk to him and he sent me an apology. I asked if I could call him and he said, I'll be honest, I'm a little socially burnt out at the moment, so it might be a little bit before I'm willing to call. I do want to say though, how much I appreciate you speaking positively of me and how sorry I am that this was all turned around on you. I hope you know my decision to stay quiet was not at all a product of my indifference to your suffering. I just knew defending you would probably make things significantly worse for both of us, which is why I went quiet for a while as I did. And I think he knows him not being in my corner through all of this didn't make it any worse for him, but it has hurt a lot going through all of this alone. So this video isn't a Vosh hate video. I think that Vosh is a complex person. Vosh has made 
a considerable amount of mistakes, to put it lightly, throughout his career. He's also done a lot of good with this community. He raised almost $300,000 for the Palestinian Children's Relief Fund. That's commendable, and I think he should be given credit for that. It's just unfortunate that, for many people, that's not going to be what he's remembered for. And I hope that all the people in my audience who are fans of him and his content can understand this and understand that I just kind of want to do my own little thing from now on. I don't want people to instantly associate my name with this community. It's been hard enough, the amount of people who have decided not to want to associate with me solely because of my association with him up until this most recent controversy which has made my life a living hell. Quite literally in the week before all of that happened, I was just saying, okay, I'm gonna wind down my content and I'm gonna try to focus on doing more story-based content, specifically in the horror genre, and I still plan to work on that. But I've just been kind of festering on these thoughts without even having an outlet to really express them. And that's honestly why I'm putting this out here, because I feel like I just got punished for trying to be a good friend to someone. I just, I feel hurt. I feel hurt. I don't want to defend this guy anymore. I wish him all the best, and I want everyone who's watching this, who's part of his community, to know that I don't hate him. I don't dislike any of you if you are part of his community or if you want to watch his content. I just don't want people to say the word keffels and immediately associate it in their heads with Vosh anymore. I feel like there's going to be a lot of Vosh fans who are going to watch this and start talking about Vosh derangement syndrome, but it's like, he's not above criticism. He's hurt a lot of people through his own recklessness. I've talked to countless people who are part of his community, who have been hurt by this. There have been ramifications for the people who work with him, for the people who are part of his community. Some of them don't even feel comfortable saying they're a Vosh fan when they're meeting new people. It's a really shitty situation to be in, and it's a situation that he created through his own recklessness. And I honestly thought better of him, because he never seemed like a person who would make a fuck up this big. But we're here now. All of this happened, and I just don't know if I can feel the same way about him anymore. As a result of what he did, and of me wanting to be there to defend a friend when they were going through the ringer, I have faced so many ramifications for it, and I'm going to be facing more in the future. I'll give credit where credit's due. Vosh was smart to go quiet, in the face of this controversy, which could have been a hell of a lot worse for him if he decided to post through it. But unfortunately, this is just never going to go away. For the rest of Vosh's career, this is going to be a cycle where it's going to continuously come back up over and over again. The next time it comes up, I don't want to be put on blast because of things I had nothing to do with. I think I've also realized from this situation that you don't need to get involved in every single drama. You really don't. I don't think Tipster should have got involved. I think that was really stupid. What could you have possibly thought the outcome of doing a public call out on Ethan Klein would have been? Honestly, like I know you want to defend the people that you like, but sometimes you just gotta sit back. You don't always need to get directly in the fucking mud. And I would be lying if I said that I don't like drama. I love slop. I'm a slopmeister. I am 100% the operator of a slopateria. But I don't want to be directly in the slop. And I'm not going to stop doing commentary on various happenings around the internet. But I don't want to be directly involved in it. Especially when it has nothing to do with me. So if anything, that's my big takeaway. From this situation. So with that said, thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, I really hope you had an open mind and understood where I'm coming from. Because I'm not saying any of this out of a place of hate. I'm saying all of this out of a place of hurt. It's been rough.